They have been resting now for about an hour, so they cooked super fast, hot and quick, didn't they really? Oh yeah, hot and quick. It'd be interesting to see the texture, how the bark came out, that smoke ring and how tender and juicy it is. I think the flavour profile is going to be fantastic. So as you can tell, they've been pulled off slightly different times because one was bigger than the other. They came off probe tender and we've let them rest. The smaller one has been resting for an hour, so we're going to do a taste test on this and then do a taste test on the bigger one when that's been rested for an hour. Hopefully that makes sense. Someone showed up for the taste test. <laughs> you ready to try some? This is your baby. Oh. Oh. Cool, look at that. Okay. So there is a bit of a smoke ring on there. Yeah, it's a good smoke ring. We'll just chop it up and we'll all try a bit, shall we? Mmm. I feel like burnt ends. It does look a bit like burnt ends, doesn't it? Right. What do you think? Two. Two! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I should think it. Mommy, mm. I just think it. Well, do you know what I think? Go on. I think the taste is good. Mm. But it's definitely not as rendered, is it? The fat's not rendered as much and it's not as that soft. I have to say it tastes really good. It is different. When I chewed through the fat on top, that had rendered quite nicely. Okay. I'd say the bit in the middle, I think it probably needs a little bit. A little bit longer? A little bit lower, low and slow. Can I take a bite? I know you wanted to do that, didn't you? It's got a great smoke ring. Bark, not as dark as we've done before. No. But that's more of a slower process. I also think the Cattleman's Cowboy Rub, that's got quite a lot of like orangey spices in it already. So it is going to give it a more of a mahogany rather than a dark kind of colour, isn't it's it? It's got a good smell though. It's got it a good smell as well. It smells good. Okay. Well. Oh my gosh, what did daddy do? Mm. Is it good? Alana, do you want to try biting it like that? No. No? Mm. It's not as full off the bone, mm -mm. but the taste is superb. Personally, if I've never had a beef rib before, I'd be quite happy with that. But knowing what the beef rib can be like, Mm. So tender, fall off the bone, hardly any resistance when you try to bite it. Oh, that's really good. I don't think I'd be 100% happy with that. But I think it tastes really good. I mean, for a much quicker cook, I just want to keep eating it, which is a really good sign. That is a good sign, that's a positive. I kind of want to see if that thicker one is... Okay, you're going to eat it all now. <laughs> I want to see if that thicker one has mm. done anything different. Because it cooked a bit longer, whether it's kind of rendered down a little bit more, whether it's a little bit softer, more tender. But I'm gonna say that for this cook as it stands is better on the offset for a longer cook. The only difference I would say is it's not as tender. Rub is excellent. Second beef ribs. Second beef rib. Let's have a look at this one. A lot of moisture's come out. You'd always think that there was tallow in there. Well, my friend, there is no tallow in this one. Looks a little bit darker in places, maybe because it's been on for a little bit longer. It's got a nice bit of height on that as well. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's a bite too. Okay. Go on, my girl. This piece is better. Is it? From what I've tried. I'm not sure if this end's going to be as tender, but that end. Oh, yeah, that end. I can, I can feel it, actually. Yeah, really good. And it looks really good. Oh, thank you, baby. You really Whoa. liked it. Hmm. That, that's so much better, isn't it? I just want to get one. On that rib, I'd be a lot more comfortable giving that to somebody and saying, like, try this, it's a bit like a dino rib. That's a bit tougher, isn't it? That's not rendered down quite as much as you can see. How long does that take, all in all? It's about three and a half, four hours. And then, frankly, it takes ten hours. So if you are caught in a bind, use a pit barrel. Mm. Good. Some bits of bite. Look at that fat. Fat is flavour. Where are you going to bite then, Baba? Yeah. Oh, go on then. Take a big bite. 
Good girl. What do you give that a 10? Two. A two. Quick shout out to the merch store. If you did like our design, smoking with H, cooking with H, and the cutting board, check out the links in the pin comments. And if you did enjoy this video and you think we deserved your sub and your like, please do so. It really helps us as a channel to reach more people. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see y'all in the next video. Well right. then, guys. That's really good, love. Really good. Okay, so Worcester sauce, as we call it over in the UK, not Worcester sister sauce. Worcester sister sauce. <laughs> not Worcester sister sauce. It reminds me, I think, of the barbecue sauce you've been making. Oh yeah. The bar A one. This is how you remind me of <laughs> barbecue sauce. Let's see if I can do this. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's got a lovely smell. It has. It says hickory coffery, coffery?